What is up, Gamer Army? Welcome back to another exciting, fun-filled episode of Psycho Gamer. I'm your host, Aubrey, as always. And today, we are going to look at some of the games that were just really announced, but not announced. Now, I know I did a video last time talking about all the new games that got announced at CES, but I want us to take a little bit more of a look at some of these new Pro Series cabinets in terms of some of the dimensions that they're going to have. I know we kind of touched on them before, but I want us to kind of look at these Killer Instinct and Golden Tea cabinets and compare them to the regular variations of them and see what the real differences are going to be in terms of the specifications, in terms of the height, at least for what we know. So hopefully you guys stick around. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe if you do want to stick around, though as well as get notified whenever I release some new videos. We really appreciate it. We're trying to get to that 1,000 subs, get to those 4,000 hours. Will it happen? Yes, eventually. <laughs> but stay tuned, guys. We're going to be talking about Killer Instinct and Golden Tea 3D right after this. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back. Like I said, we are going to be talking about these new cabinets here. So Killer Instinct just announced fully at CES along with a few other Arcade 1-Up cabinets. Now, what's going to make this cabinet so unique? They're going to have everything upgraded. They're going to have a bigger size, a bigger height. It's going to be more comparable to your actual full-size cabinets as opposed to something that's... Uh, a lot shorter, I guess you could say. So what we're going to do, we're going to switch over into my computer. We're going to actually talk about the differences between the two cabinets uh, in terms of your killer instinct. And we're also going to talk about the differences in the golden tea cabinets as well in terms of specifications and what we actually know about the upcoming cabinets. Do we know the pricing? Well, Golden Tea kind of has a price out there for the UK. Is that going to be the final price? We're not really sure. But let's switch on over. And here we are. So first thing we're looking at is, well, it's the Pro Series one. We're going to look at the regular Killer Instinct information right here. So we know that it is $700. I have seen a few people actually just get notifications that their Killer Instinct cabinets have been shipped from Arcade 1-Up, and they are on the way to their house. So if you have ordered them, and if you decided you wanted to keep your order when it came to this particular cabinet, they should be on the way, as long as they're not sitting on a ship out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. So we're not really going to go through all this stuff, because I've already gone through all this with you guys before with the cabinets, but we're going to look more at the actual dimensions here. Now, the dimensions here should talk about the actual height when it comes to having the riser attached to it. So obviously we know it's a 17 inch color LCD screen has the molded coin door, the assembled dimensions, 22.5 inches deep, 18.75 inches wide and 60.75 inches high. Now that should be with the actual riser. So that's coming out to just a smidge over five feet tall. So that's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, it, it's a good size for what they've been selling us, which are those three-quarter size cabinets, which means it's three-quarters the size of the original cabinets. All five of these games, Killer Instinct 1 and 2, Battletoads Arcade, Battletoads 8-bit and 16-bit. Realistically, they're the same thing. It just might look just a little bit better. Uh, over here at the Killer Instinct Pro features and specifications it is going to have a 19 inch screen it is going to still have the upgraded lit marquee the other one's going to have a backlit marquee most likely it's going to be kind of washed out like a lot of the other ones they've been doing these are upgrading the joysticks and the buttons upgraded speakers that are actually going to have speaker grills on them instead of just kind of some holes cut out so you can kind of hear through it it's got the molded coin door with light-up coin slots for one to two player start. Faux metal T-molding. And it's got a Arcade 1-Up badge. Now, difference between the other one 
And this one too is this is going to come with a swivel stool that actually has a backrest instead of your typical regular stool that they like to give out that's like 70, 80 bucks. If they sell this by itself, it's probably going to go for about 100, 120 bucks just because of that little back. This is going to come with the anti-fatigue mat on the floor and a licensed tin sign, which you see in the pictures. It's still going to have all the same games. But I think the big selling points are the fact it's going to have that 19-inch screen and the fact that it is going to stand 67.5 inches tall. So you're talking 5 feet, 7.5 inches without having to have a riser. That's going to be very beneficial for people that are much taller that just don't want to have a riser. Now, the risers, I can't take anything away from because they've actually added a little bit of style to some of these cabinets. Unless they don't come with one, then you have to get that generic arcade one-up one. And then you go out and you go ahead and buy some decals and stickers and basically make it look how you want. And there's some really, really cool companies out there that are making the decals to put all over these as well. So you can get some really good art for these. So th that's pretty much going to be the arcade one up right here too. I'm seeing, it looks like it's got the, the buttons are all light up too. So they got lights all over the thing. This thing is really, really cool looking. I do like the looks of it. And per my, one of my last videos, they actually did fix the killer instinct pictures right there. Cause when they originally released it, it was upside down. So seeing the actual, Speakers there with the grills, really cool. I know this is just kind of a mock-up for what they're looking at releasing, but it is a very cool mock-up, and I do like how that coin door is looking. Even though I know it's not real, we all know it's not real. The looks are what we're going for, though. So I think this will be one people will get. Will you guys want to keep it as just the Killer Instinct? most likely a lot of you are going to mod these things because you're not going to have to do too much to do upgrades. It's already got the bigger monitor. It's already got the upgraded controls. It's already got the upgraded audio. It's going to have the upgraded marquee. What else is left for you? You I mean, you might be able to find some art to put along the sides or in the front above the coin door. I mean, other than that, put in a raspberry Pi in there and, set it up that's going to be about the extent of what a lot of people who are doing these modding are going to be able to really do now price speculation on this is going for about a thousand dollars could it go for a little less eh, maybe maybe it could go for nine hundred dollars but they haven't really announced what the pricing is going to be but realistically the speculation for any of these cabinets you're probably be looking at about nine hundred to a thousand dollars now there's going to be a lot of people crying and griping about the price. You are probably not the people they are trying to cater to when it comes to these particular cabinets. I'm sorry, but you're not. They're going to be catered to those people that want almost a full arcade replacement. If you want it to add to your actual home arcade because it is more of a full arcade machine than their typical cabinets, then by all means. Drop the G. Go ahead and get it. I mean, th this is a very expensive hobby that many of us have really gotten ourselves into. Myself, I got my Ninja Turtles. I have no more room, especially with all the stuff behind me. I would have to basically take everything down. I could probably put about four or five cabinets in here, and then I would have no room to do anything. I mean, it would look cool. Maybe put a shelf above them and maybe put some stuff on top of them, but I mean still a lot of work to get done and probably dropping another two, three, four thousand dollars just in some of the cabinets that I really want to get, such as, you know, Marvel versus Capcom or um, the MVSX would be kind of nice to have because of the amount of Neo Geo games on it. I mean, I don't know. There's just so many out there that you could really choose from that you could get. I really want the Miss Pac-Man and Galaga cabinet. So that'd be a nice one to get. Now we're going to move over to the Golden T. So this is going to have Golden T Classic 01, 2K, 99, and 98. This is the old one that they're really not making anymore. You probably can still find these for maybe two, three, four hundred dollars $400 if you can get lucky and find it on like Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or maybe even eBay. You might find one that hasn't even been opened yet. So the height. Well, the screen, obviously, your 17-inch color LCD screen. 
It has the custom riser. It has the light up marquee, which all the ones that I've seen, they look absolutely horrible. So these came out when they were starting to do a lot of your light up marquee. So I think you're probably talking like your second, third generation ones. So the height, 45.8 inches high, 57.5 inches high with the riser. So less than six feet tall, 54 pounds. So it's not very tall even with the riser. So it's less than five feet tall. So I have played a couple of these at Best Buy. And unfortunately they had it on a shelf that added about a good six inches. So that actually made it where it was almost the perfect height for most people that are over five, eight. So now in terms of the dimensions for the Golden T 3D Golf, which you can see they've actually got the upgraded sound system in there. They got the 19 inch screen and everything is going to be bigger and badder. And even the art golden T 3d golf in terms of this one, they're showing 699 pounds, which I think from what I understand, somebody posted, it was a, that would put it a little under $900. So that kind of makes sense. Now, would you want to buy this one from the UK? If you lived in the UK, if you, Ship that to America, that would be very expensive, especially to put it on a ship and put it on out here. You're, you're looking at a lot of money for shipping. So now the games you're going to have on here, classic Golden T, Golden T2K, 99, 98, and 97. So those are many of the games that you're looking at. I thought there was a couple more. Oh, yeah. Strata Bowling, Shuffle Shot, and World Class Bowling. Now... There was speculation on this particular cabinet last year in 2021 that this was actually going to come out, but everybody thought it was just going to be an updated version. They didn't know that it was going to be this extra large arcade one up pro cabinet that they've just recently started making. It's going to have that 19 inch screen illuminated top, top marquee, hopefully not as washed out as the previous one. Now your width, obviously you got an, in metric as well as in American style metric. <laughs> My brain's not working, so I'm not thinking the words right. Um, the height is 66 inches without having a riser. Uh, length 27, the width is 22 inches, so not quite two feet wide, but that's fine. You're gonna have the bigger screen. It's only really just one trackball, and that's all you really have. There's really not too much to this particular cabinet. Um, now, would this be one you want to get and do mods for? It's going to be expensive one to do mods because you're going to have to replace the entire control deck and pretty much everything on this particular cabinet if you really want to do mods. If you really want to do anything, get the Killer Instinct one, drop a Raspberry Pi in it, and call it a day because there's not much you'll really need to do. Now, the marquee is kind of nice on the Killer Instinct one, but I know there's one out there that will actually change. It's like a digital one that will actually change as you're switching games, which is kind of cool. It gives you the feel that you're actually at the arcade playing those particular games, like Marvel vs. Capcom 1, or I'm not sure if it'll handle Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I'm sure there's a lot of people that have tried or are trying to get it to work, and I'm sure it'll handle the games just fine if it's done correctly without having to get a Dreamcast emulator and put it on a computer and shove it inside the cabinet. We, we don't want that, but it would be kind of cool. But again, 900 to a thousand dollars guys. Is that something that you are willing to pay post down below? Did you cancel your killer instinct just so you can get the killer instinct pro edition? I don't know. I think there's a lot of people that will. And I have seen people that have canceled it. So. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys thought it was very informative on the differences between the original cabinets and also the new Pro Series cabinets. Are you going to get one? Post down below. Give me a thumbs up. Whether you get one or not, I do appreciate that as well. But. I appreciate each and every one of you guys coming out, whether you're a subscriber, whether you're not a subscriber, whether you go and unsubscribe. I still appreciate you for 
coming and checking the video out either way. But make sure you smash that like and subscribe like I mentioned earlier. Stay tuned for the next video, guys. Hopefully it'll be a hot one when we get some more information. Until then, guys, game on.